Hello everyone, this is Corpse from Phallic's Note. Today I'm showing you guys how to create a Bungie Gord server. So let me explain how we're going to be doing this and how this works. One, we have to create a proxy server. And what a proxy server is going to do is connect all the other servers that we'll also create. In this case, we'll be creating a lobby, another server for survival, and another one for creative. And once we do that, we'll connect the proxy to these three servers. So let's go ahead and get started. First thing we do is actually go and create these three to four servers. Let's do this by going to our client first at client.flogsnode.net and log in. Whatever to create server. And I'm gonna call this proxy or you can put the server name. I'm gonna go ahead and add a dash proxy so I'm gonna call this tutorial server and our proxy doesn't really need this much RAM so we're gonna go leave it at 1000 for megabytes right here so it's only need like one gig of RAM and go ahead and choose our location then I'm gonna click on create let's go ahead and create three more one for lobby one survival and one for creative okay so I just created three more servers so let's go ahead and now jump to our panel. This is going to be at db.phalanxnode.net. Let's go ahead and create the three servers first, and then we'll move back over to the proxy. Let's go ahead and start with lobby. And at the console, we're going to click on the start button. At the console, we're going to select Minecraft Java. And choose the type server we wanted this to be. So I'm going to make this a paper MC server. And go ahead and choose a version. I'm going to go ahead and select the latest version. And use Java 8. If you're watching this video and 1.17 is out, I recommend using Java 11 if you are selecting 1.17. Okay, the server is done creating. Now let's go ahead and do a few things in the file manager of our server. So there's a couple of things we need to do so that this server can work with Bungie Core. The first thing you do is of course edit the bucket.yml file. Go to the connection throttle setting and go ahead and change this to negative one. Click on save content, head back over to the file manager and go down to server.properties. Scroll all the way down and look for on live mode. Change this from true to false and click on save content. Head back over to the file manager and head down to spigot.yml. Look for the bungee cord setting and change it from false to true and click on save content. Then, do the exact same thing for the other servers. Okay, it's been about 10 minutes now and I recently just got all the other servers up and running. They have been rebooted after configuring everything that we need to do. Now we can finally get to the proxy server. Let's go ahead and click on that. Click on start. And select 7 for a proxy. And select 7 again for bungee cord. Go ahead and choose Java 8. And now the budget cords are uh, started. But what we need to do is configure it. So let's go ahead and head over to the file manager and look for the config.yml file. Look for IP forward and change it to true. Now we need to go ahead and tell Bungie Cord to connect to the other three servers we just got done creating and configuring. So by default, it already kind of has a lobby. We just need to change the address here. And um, this right here doesn't really matter. And restricted is set to false by default, which means players can see it and connect to it. So, so let's go ahead and grab the address of this. Put 
which in this case is going to be this right here. And let's go and copy this two more times and rename it. I'm going to make this one survival and this one creative. And go ahead and change the port to those. And click on save content. Go back to the Bungie Core console and click on stop. And click on kill. Then click start again. And we'll need to use Java 8 again. Before we try connecting to our server on Minecraft, you may notice when it says right here, listening on, and of course it gives this right here. And by default, Bungie Core chooses the port 25577. Except this isn't the port that our server has been provided. So we need to go and change 25577 to the port our server uses. In my case, it's going to be 26393. So let's head back to our configuration file. So here in the configuration, configuration file, we, we need to go down to host and change the port here. Uh, we can leave this as 0 .0 .0 0 0.0.0.0. That's perfectly fine. Click on content and try restarting the server again. Now, as you can see there, it's not listening to the right port. Now, if we go to Minecraft here, I've already added the server to the multiplayer server list. Now, I gotta click on refresh and it should ping. And as you can see here, it says another bungee cord server. Now, back on our configuration file, the first server that was listed was lobby. And because it's the first thing listed, it's going to be the default server when people join for the first time. So when I join the server, it should bring me to the lobby. And now I'm in the lobby. And we can confirm this by going to our lobby console. And seeing that files nodes join the game. And before we go ahead and start doing other things and start doing off whatever you want to do to your server, there is one more thing we have to do. And that is adding a bit of security to your Bungie Cord server. The reason why I want to do this is so that you can prevent players from bypassing the proxy and spoofing their UUID. And for that, we'll be using Bungie Guard. So go ahead and download. And you're gonna add the plugin to all servers, including the proxy. So let's go ahead and do that. And proxy, you can upload this to the plugins folder. And then we can do the same for the others. After this, go ahead and restart each server. And then we can go ahead and head over to the file manager of our Bungie Cord proxy server. Head over back to plugins and a new folder should have been generated. Go here and click on token.yml. Go ahead and copy this token. And then on your other servers, go to your file manager, click on plugins, go to the new bungee cord folder that was generated. And then go ahead and add this token.